stick here. Oh, here we go. Very circles. Love them. Oh, go the other way now. Back the other way. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers in today's July 1st, 2024. And before we jump into things here, as per usual, I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code as well as a TCG Player affiliate link. And any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it and it really helps support the channel. Now here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with a fetch land from Modern Horizons 3. Bloodstained Mire is down again 12.03% from $12.55 to $11.04 for its market price, and its average price is $12.70. Tamiyo Inquisitive Student from Modern Horizons 3. This mythic is down 12.89% from $33.60 to $29.27 for its market price, and its average price is $34.91. Urza's Incubator, and this is the borderless version of this card from Dominaria Remastered. It is down 13.39% from $26.21 to $22.70 for its market price, and its average price is $27.96. Tiny Bones the Pit Pocket from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. This mythic is down 14% today from $9.78 to $8.41 for its market price, and its average price is $11.84. Next up here is Spawn Bed Protector from Commander Modern Horizons 3. This Eldrazi card is down 14.17% from $11.50 to $9.87 for its market price, and its average price is $9.58. Flame of Anor, and this is the Borderless Lord of the Rings card, down 16.97% from $8.31 to $6.90 for its market price, and its average price is $8.73. Nadu Wing Wisdom, and this is the Borderless version of this card from Modern Horizons 3. It's down again today 17.21% from $8.83 to $7.31 for its market price, and its average price is $10.91. Underworld Breach from Theros Beyond Death. This enchantment is down 17.51% from $13.82 to $11.40 for its market price, and its average price is $14.27. Primal Vigor from Wilds of Eldrain Enchanting Tales. This card is down 19.34% from $5.79 to $4.67 for its market price, and its average price is $5.48. Devourer of Destiny from Modern Horizons 3. This Eldrazi card is down 19.73% from $5.17 to $4.15 for its market price, and its average price is $4.80. Null Drifter, and this is the retro frame copy from Modern Horizons 3. This card is down 30.28% from $4.26 to $2.97 for its market price, and its average price is $4.04. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Snapcaster Mage is back from Ultimate Masters up 7.05% from $20.28 to $21.71 for its market price, and its average price is $30. And the box stopper copy from Ultimate Masters is sitting at $51.32 for its market price, and its average price is $60.69. And the Modern Masters 2017 copy is sitting at $18.21 for its market price, and its average price is $29.40. And the original copy from Innistrad is sitting at $20.04 for its market price, and its average price is $33.56. And the Pro Tour promo is sitting at $41.32 for its market price, and its average price is $48.24. And the Regional Championship Qualifier copy is sitting at $35.65 for its market price, and its average price is $66. And the version on the list is sitting at $17.57 for its market price, and its average price is $34.10. And this card is seeing a lot of modern play right now, and is a control decks, Jeskai Guy Control, Salt Eye Midrange, it's even being played right now in the vintage format in Lura Saga decks. And the next winner on our list today is Uncommon Card from Shadow Moor. Umbral Mantle. 
and it's up 7.58% from $14 to $15.05 for its market price, and its average price is $31.23. And the mystery booster copy is sitting at $19.76 for its market price, and its average price is $23.15. And this card is being played mostly in the commander format in commanders like Marvin the Nurturer, Krenko Mob Boss, and one of the later commanders, Nadu Wing Wisdom from Modern Horizons 3. Next up on the list is Flesh Duplicate from Universes Beyond, Doctor Who. This card is up 9.28% from $11.74 to $12.83 for its market price, and its average price is $13.33. And the extended art copy is sitting at $16.39 for its market price, and its average price is $36.44. And the extended art search foil copy is sitting at $40.75 for its average price. The regular search foil is sitting at $27 for its average price, and you can find this card in the commander deck from Doctor Who, Timey Wimey. This card is being played as well in some other commanders like Kin and Bonder Prodigy, as well as Nadu Wing Wisdom from Modern Horizons 3. Next winner here is Swooping Pterodon, and this is the borderless copy from Universes Beyond Jurassic World Collection. It's up 12.12% from $10.31 to $11.56 for its market price, and its average price is $10.08. Next winner is Collective Restraint from Invasion. This card is at 15% today from $8.87 to $10.20 for its market price, and its average price is $18.19. And the version on the list is sitting at $11 for its market price, and its average price is $19.92. And this card is being played mostly in the commander format, and one of the newer commanders from Modern Horizons 3, Omo Queen of Vesuva. Next winner here is Sun Cleanser from Corset 2019. This rare is at 47.81% from $4.33 to $6.40 for its market price, and its average price is $6. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $1.38 for its market price, and its average price is $40.53. And this card is seeing a lot of modern play right now in Nadu deck like Bant Nadu and Four Color Nadu, however it's also being played in Boros Energy and Mardu Energy decks in the modern format. Next winner here is Reverence from Saviors of Kamigawa. This rare enchantment is up 47.22% from $2.16 to $3.18 for its market price, and its average price is $7.17. And this card is seeing most of its play in the commander format, in commanders like Aloro Ageless Ascetic, as well as Kudo King Among Bears, which is a newer card from Modern Horizons 3. And our final winner on our list today is Through the Breach from Ultimate Masters. This card is at 52% today from $2.25 to $3.42 for its market price, and its average price is $5.03. And the box topper copy from Ultimate Masters is sitting at $11.58 for its market price, and its average price is $18.97. And the original copy from Champions of Kamigawa is sitting at $3.11 for its market price, and its average price is $5.80. In the Masterpiece Omnica Invocation copy is sitting at $18.50 for its market price, and its average price is $39.88. And this card is seeing a lot of modern play in Through the Breach decks as well as Legacy decks like Sneak and Breach, and of course it's being played in the Commander format in Commanders like Cali of the Vast. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Calamity of the Titans and this extended art foil from Commander Masters. This card is up 20.28% from $12.08 to $14.53 for its foil market price, and its average price is $32. Stronghold Machinist from Nemesis. This old frame foil is up 26.24% from $4.04 to $5.10 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.66. Flame of Anor, and this is the regular copy from Lord of the Rings. This foils up 28.25% from $4.92 to $6.31 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.27. Robobrain Warmind, and this is the surge foil from Universes Beyond Fallout. This foils up 34.82% from $4.71 to $6.35 for its foil market price, and its average price is $24.89. Mortuary Mire from Universes Beyond Fallout. This foil land is up 36.75% from $3.32 to $4.54 for its foil market price, and its average price is $1.93. Behemoth of Vault Zero from 
Inverse is beyond fallout, and the surge foils up 45% today from $3 to $4.35 for its foil market price, and its average price is $29.23. Necrotal from 10th edition. This foils up 49.15% from $2.34 to $3.49 for its foil market price, and its average price is $2.52. Toshiro Umezawa from Atreus Akamigawa. This foils up 49.39% from $42.13 to $62.94 for its foil market price, and its average price is $47.12. Sun Cleanser from Corset 2019. This foils up 74.30% from $2.49 to $4.34 for its foil market price, and its average price is $20. And our final foil winner on our list today is from 7th edition, Squall, and it's up 86.16% from $1.59 to $2.96 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.34. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow on YouTube. Also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cards you're most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list today. I have to read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.